Yo, 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 stop what you're doing right there. Yo, The Crow just fucking dropped a new fucking trailer today. Yo, 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 stop what you're doing. The Crow just dropped a new trailer for their new movie. Let's talk about that because The Crow hasn't been fucking made since like long fucking time. I think the last fucking movie, I was like five years old or six years old when that movie came out. What the fuck? Yo, 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 let, let, let's time out, time out, time out. Yo, if you're new to the channel, hello, my name is Omar Richards Jr. Yo, welcome to the channel, yo. I gotta talk about the crow guys. So yo, this is why this crow movie is very important. Cause yo, this will be the third actor to play fucking Eric Draven. The original actor to play Eric Draven is Brandon Lee. Now, if you haven't seen The Crow with Brandon Lee, it is one of the best movies you'll ever see, man. The tragic story of a man fighting for love, man. Fighting for love and trying to, you know, avenge both their deaths, you know. Like, like it's such a sad, tragic story, but such a beautiful action movie and a beautiful revenge story. <laughs> I just love it. Like, if you haven't, go see this movie. And then we have the second actor to play uh, Eric Draven. Uh, which is in the TV show The Crow Stairway to Heaven. Now, The Crow Stairway to Heaven is played by Marco DiCasio, I think that's how you say his name. Uh, and yo, uh, I don't know why, but this one has Brandon Lee on it. Like, I don't know why Brandon Lee is on the cover. So, like, he's literally on the cover for the movie, and he's the on the cover for uh this one, even though he's not even playing this. But you know, that's why they Brandon Lee's the best fucking Eric Draven. <laughs> but no. It's, Respectfully, uh, this guy, uh, Marco DiCasio, he actually played a good Eric Draven for what the TV show insisted. And now here we come to our third actor, Bill Skarsgård. Now, Bill Skarsgård, uh, his looks were kind of, uh, I, I was kind of like, mm, I don't know. He kind of just, I got to see it in context. So the trailer just dropped, guys. So, yo, without further ado, let's get into The Crow because the other Crow movies were pretty stinkers. Uh, so <laughs> let's see this one. Okay, here What's we go. the first thing you liked about me? I thought that you were quite brilliant and broken. Pretty and broken. Okay. You feel like my person? <laughs> so they like met at a person. rehab, uh, uh, rehab place? I'm trying to say, uh, I, I can't even say the fucking word. <laughs> I shouldn't have seen any of it. Oh shit, so it's like demons. So we're going instantly into Supernatural, off rip. So she saw some supernatural shit, so now the organization guy's trying to kill her. That's fucked up. I, listen, I don't know who got it worse. The, how he died in the original one, he got thrown out the window, and that's kind of beastly. This one getting suffocated is still bad, no matter what. No matter which way, is, each way is bad, but I'm still going to give it to the original. Sometimes something so bad happens. And, um, I have to say, yo, Bill Skarsgård is a fantastic actor. I think he's very I'm underrated. So I really want to see him prove me wrong and make this movie amazing. You put the wrong but off rip, right. the tone is completely different. Oh shit. You were given the power of a god. Visually, I like it already, but the tone is completely different. Like it looks like an action but you're film. running out of time to save her. Oh! I'm gonna kill them. Every single one of them. Yeah, his accent. <laughs> yeah, that Swedish accent. <laughs> I killed you. Yeah, you did. But you did fucking shooting them in the head. He came for us. Oh, this man, Colonel Stryker, he's back. First impulse. I don't know, his look just reminds me of literally Machine Gun Kelly, bro. <laughs> or if not him, oh, oh. Or he looks like the dude from The Crow 3. It's not anger. It's <laughs> love. Oh! oh, shit. Yeah, it's literally John Wick with The Crow. Okay, I'm not mad about that. I, I like action movies, but for the crow, mm. but I'm still gonna be open-minded. I'm still gonna be there when the movie drops. You oh, no, what hell awaits you? No, Ooh. I do. No, I do. Yo, this guy's guy is fucking amazing, bro. He better fucking murder this role. Hang on, Travis Scott. <laughs> okay. 
it, it piqued my interest. Um, I'm, I'm still gonna go see it. Uh, the tone is completely different from the original Crow movie. Uh, this is literally, uh, as I said, John Wick with the Crow. And, you know, eh, I'm still gonna see it, though. And, and, um, but that's the thing, though. That's the thing. How, like, like, if you're a Crow fan, this is completely butchering the style. But then again, we can watch the movie, and then it can be completely dramatic, and then what we're just getting is just the action sequences. But then again, someone who's not a Crow fan can probably watch this movie and be like, hmm, I don't know nothing about the Crow. Watch this movie. You'd be like, oh, so the Crow is like an action film with a guy who can't die, who's literally John Wick but can't die. I mean, okay, that's a cool, interesting way how to introduce people to this new iteration. But then again, I think... At the, at the same time, I think that's why the creator himself was very upset with this movie because I think he realized like, oh, we're straying away from the creepiness and the, you know, the atmospheric tone of what The Crow originally was. But then at the same time, this is a whole new iteration of Crow. So I heard they want to make this a franchise. So even if Bill Skarsgård doesn't come back as Eric Draven and they wanted to get another Crow they can still treat this like an action series film and be like, okay, so here's our new guys, the crow, who's going to die tragically, or a girl. They haven't done a female crow yet, so, yo, watch it. Maybe that's going to be a thing in the future. So maybe they'll do something like that. Or either way, whoever becomes the fucking crow, um, they're going to eventually make it want to do like an action film franchise. And maybe as the, each movie progresses, the action sequences and everything gets even bigger and bigger like John Wick. But, you know, nonetheless... I'm still gonna, I'm gonna be optimistic and I'm gonna be open-minded to this movie. Uh, it's definitely a very hard stray away from it. Uh, but at the same time, uh, this is a whole new take on it for a new audience. So, but at the same time, I wish, like, come on, man, like, you got, you got one right here. Like, you got one right here. Like, you know, the original will always be amazing. So this one will never be top. And even if you don't like the Bill Skarsgård version... Go watch Brandon Lee. You, we always have this timeless capsule. R.I.P. Brandon Lee, but we will always have this time capsule, Brandon Lee, of just one of the best, as well, one of his best performances uh, of The Crow. But nonetheless, guys, uh, that would do it for this video. So, yo, if you like what you see and you want to hear more of my wild takes or if you want to see more of what I have to say, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And if you are, you know, kind of interested in this uh, type of crow let me know in the comments down below and if you're not let me know in the comments down below too but like always man i'll see you guys in the next video peace out